Hey guys, what is up? It's Jay, and um, we're back with a new series. Uh, I said uh, a couple times when I was doing the Rogue River playthrough that once this map uh, will... Will Melna? Will Melna? I don't know, remember, remember the exact name. Something Forest uh, came out. We'd be moving on from Rogue River to do a bit of a DIY farm slash logging series. And uh, I checked it this morning and it had come out. So, finally, uh, gonna do this. It might have been out last night. I don't know. I was really, <laughs> really tired. But yeah, so we got our equipment here uh, to start up um, cleaning up uh, an area to build our house. Gonna be our first task. Uh, got a tractor with a nice little transport tote for logs and weight and all that. Our Massey Ferguson 7-Eleven skid steer, a Mahindra, and all the equipment for the skid steer that we're going to need. And, of course, our trusty Husqvarna chainsaw. As well as a uh, forklift for loading and unloading stuff here at the mill, or at the shop. Um, I already have a site in mind. I checked it out. So, really, what we're going to be doing is... Uh, driving this stuff to the site and starting to clear it, uh, bring some timber down and, and get it unloaded. Uh, we brought, uh, in terms of equipment, we have, uh, of course, the log fork, uh, pallet fork, and this piece of equipment, which I showed off a bit on Rogue River, which is the uh, BioBelts Forestry Mulcher that I had modified to fit the skid steer uh, just by messing around with some XML stuff. Yeah, anyways... So, let's go uh, go to our spot there. This is, of course, a New Holland 5640. Uh, one of the packs that came out recently uh, was... Uh, I don't remember exactly what all of them were. But it's um, it's got the whole series. It's got the, the 8340... Or, yeah, 8330... 8340 down to this. Uh... And most of them in between, you know, they got all sorts of wonderful options, um, like wheels and front loader attachments. I just took the basic one because I just needed it for moving logs around the uh, the site, and eventually we're going to be selling some. Uh, I left myself enough money left over to actually buy the house. Pretty much early on, we're going to be buying all our equipment with, or or leasing all our equipment uh, with this tractor in mind. Uh, because it's only, I think, 56 horsepower. Oh my god, these woods are thick. Uh, as we go on, of course, we're going to need to work back towards the shop and really clear things out. Part of the reason I picked really small equipment is I didn't want to spend the first, like, episode or two or four or whatever clearing out all the roads. I just wanted to get straight into, uh, sighting the, uh, the main farm. Which I have a really awesome spot in mind for. Um, but it's going to be a bit before we can get the shop, uh, the roads between the shop and the mill worked out because we have to buy the land that it's on first. I believe we own the land around the farm cell points and not the mill. I have to double check that. I haven't quite done a. Uh, a bunch of exploring yet on this map. I figure it's just a lot of uh, a lot of trees, a few hills here and there, a lot of flat spots by the look of it. You know, we have some good uh, good terrain though around the mill. It looks interesting, and all these wonderful paths to follow. They're all just small footpaths and stuff, but we can make those into proper uh, roads eventually. Okay, so the spot I have in mind is a nice little uh oh my god yeah it's a nice little uh overlook that, uh, near the bridge at the end of the uh the uh i guess the island or the shore or whatever oh there we go now we can open it up yeah reason i went with the uh this style of uh, setup rather than a tipper is because I didn't want to have to deal with a trailer in this kind of uh, terrain. 
it is very thick. As you can see, it's just tree branch after tree branch. Man, imagine if they had bending on trees. That would be so cool. So here's the farm uh, cell points. Uh, we're going to have to do a lot of work here uh, to really open it up and clear it out for when we get to selling crops eventually. We're going to have to start small, unfortunately, but uh, it'll, it'll be worth it. It'll be hella worth it. I'm thinking early uh, early selling will probably be... I don't know. Um, obviously wood is going to be the main source of income for a while. Maybe... Bales, I'm thinking. I don't know if we'll do wrapped bales or not. Uh, I know there's a bale sell point. But yeah... We're not going to have really much in, in the way of options here. Combines are expensive. Alright, so just here to the right is kind of where we want to set the house. This first episode is mainly just going to be bringing the equipment along. I think I'm going to just... Uh, the skid steer there and the uh, Mahindra that's telling the thing, I'm just going to... We're just going to time lapse that real quick. And... Uh, Oh no, that's that. Anyways, yeah, we'll just time lapse these getting there, because why not? I do love this thing. I recently switched over to using joysticks for this uh, for the skid steers and front loaders, and it's epic. Uh, anyways, yeah, see you guys on the other side. Alright, so we got everything here. Uh, we're gonna start. Oh, what the hell? There. Okay, that only straps one way. Uh, we're gonna start um, figuring this out here. Exactly what we're doing. I'm thinking. Ooh. Like a good chunk of that. And we'll drop it all to the left. The handsaw, and then. Uh, Obviously, we're going to have to bucket and stack it, but that's fine. So I'm thinking here... Yeah. Start with the small stuff. Get our... Kind of kind of our bearings sorted out. a little too steep there, so I'm not going to worry about the stuff that's on the shore. Just 
keep it working from the from the road back in. There'll be a bit of delimbing here in a moment. Clear up some sight lines, get a better better idea. So our first task is getting enough uh, enough uh, space opened up for the house. And then it's the, uh, probably the, mm, I don't know, machine shop maybe? Machine shop's probably a good one. I think I have enough money for a machine shop, I don't know. Way a few of these. I might need to do a few more trees. I'll do a quick check here. Actually, wow. Like, obviously we still need to, to do all the, the stuff, but it's about the right amount of space. I might clear a bit more. Well, I'm going to have to for, like, the parking and uh, and that and the garages. But, like, that's, uh, that's about what we were looking for in terms of size. Um, uh, so we'll get to, we'll get to, uh, cutting these up and stacking them, pushing them off, and, uh, chipping and then purchasing and all that, and a little bit of landscaping. And, uh, I'll just finish doing these. Alright. It's always good to deal in the logs when they're down. Makes them easier to see, especially which is good when you're working with them, especially in the skid steer. All right. Um, we'll go jump in that. Get our log fork. Come on. There we go. So I'm gonna start by pushing the trees together, and then uh, we'll try to get a few lined up, and then we'll get to actually cutting them up. Mainly, the big thing is just getting them off the field. There we go. That was a little funky. Yeah. So like stuff like this, these small things. No problem. I think I'm just gonna push them. I'm gonna load them up and push them onto the side there. Um, yeah, we'll we'll bring them out here. Anything that's too long, we can cut and deal with the rest later. Like if it's if it's including into the forest over there, yeah, we we can just cut it. I'm not too worried about, you know, optimal length or anything like that right now. It's just about getting this stuff out of here. Come on. Come on. This one's probably hung up, isn't it? Yeah. And this is why you delim everything, so you can see. Yeah, there it is.
so we'll get to I'll probably do it off screen I'll probably cut those up and uh, pile them nicely for for loading and we'll get them the right length to load on the back of that uh, three-point attacher thing there and we'll ship them off to the, the mill probably show that like one or two loads of that later but that's a that's a later uh, later goal right now it's just getting this stuff out of the way there's another piece and then the last bit we're gonna have to do is of course mulch the uh, stumps Like that one. Might as well mow the grass while we're at it. This way. Come on. I was doing something similar on Grizzly Mountain last night uh, while I was streaming. And uh, one of the mods I like to use, especially like when I'm just doing regular farming stuff, is uh, uh, reduced brake uh, engine braking. And I discovered that when you're doing work like this, especially with a skid steer, it's the worst because it's it's like the uh, it's like you're driving on ice all the time. At least in forwards and backwards, it makes it difficult to do anything with a skid steer. It's really imprecise. It's annoying as all hell. There we go. Put that around. Make a good progress. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do the uh, probably I uh, work on maybe widening some roads in the future. That's of course after we get everything settled. also be looking at a chipper and the log splitter in the near future. Those are fun mods. I like the log splitter mod, especially when you combine it with the small chipper because then you can really, uh, you can take apart these big trees and chip them easily. The small chipper can handle big logs, but uh, once they get over a certain size, you have to do some shenanigans to get them to go through. So... I had previously said that the mod was kind of useless in a way, but it was, uh, I'm starting to see, like, at least some value. It's a $3,000 piece of equipment in-game, which is relatively nothing when you compare it to most stuff. Alright. So, I, if it means I can use the, the, the chipper a little better, I'm fine with that. And it's just really fun to use, too. I don't know. I always get a giggle when I use it. And this is kind of like... Uh, I don't know. I might do this as a bit of a, a, a light RP type series. But we'll see. I'm going to think about it. I feel like if I was going to do that, I should have started with that. But... Eh, whatever. Uh. 
Oh, no, I'm gonna have to cut the end off that. I thought I could get it out. Whatever, it's fine. It's all getting cut up pretty short anyways. We just got the ends of this stuff to go, and then we can run the mulcher. Bring that down. Wow. We've got a, already a bit of a log pile going here. I need like a good log shield. I'll probably uh, go get one with the tractor when I go pick up uh, the log splitter and the chipper and stuff like that. I don't expect I'll be needing to use the log splitter because anything that's big enough I'm probably just going to ship off to the mill anyways, but you never know. Probably when I get the chipper, I'll get a, a log shield, and that'll make dealing with these messes uh, a little easier. Eventually, we're going to upgrade the tractor and get the, uh, the winch, of course. That'll make life a lot easier, especially once we get to clearing some fields. I probably won't replace the tractor, I'll probably just overhaul the engine or something, make it, uh, replace it with, uh, uh, what's the upgraded version, the 7740, I think is, uh, one of the possible, up I think it's the, the 125 horsepower or 105 horsepower alternative or something like that, same frame, so, it just needs the mechanics workshop, or I need to bring it back to the the shop there and there we go we just about done looks like two more pieces Yeah, so as we get for as we clear more out that way, we'll deal with that other stuff. I'll probably deal with it in the future rather than maybe like rather than clearing just to get at it. We'll deal with it at some point and just pick it out. But for the time being, we're, we've got one goal in mind, and that's getting the house up. Come yeah, on. Oh wow, there's a couple trees in here. Okay. Uh, we might not have to move them all, but... Not the tidiest pile, but it'll have to do. Come on. A few more feet. Don't drop it. Oh, we can just push that in. There we go. We'll just kind of push these through, and we can deal with them later. All right, that's done. Now we got to do some stump mulching.
And then we can build. Just, you know, ignore the magic of uh, Malter attaching. This one's always a pain to get lined up. That's two. There's another one. Three. Do I see any more? Let's pop out to third. Oh, yeah, there's one. There's one over here. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah, this monster is way too big for this. Technically, this does have enough horsepower. But. Okay. And we can actually cut down trees with this monster as well, which is fun. I generally avoid it, just because, I don't know. I'd rather do controlled stuff with a uh, saw or whatever, which is probably going to be one of the attachments we're going to get soon for this is uh, a tree saw, but I didn't want to spend too much money on attachments right off the bat. Well, I was only bringing what we absolutely knew we needed. Uh, anything over here? Not really. All right, so we'll turn that off. There might be some stuff hidden in the brush, but realistically it's going to get built on anyways. I'm not worried. Praise be, uh, place anywhere mod. Alright. And for the final bit, we're gonna build our house. Um, nope. We're gonna get that stump first. The fun thing is this also has work lights on it. <laughs> so it gives this uh, it gives the bobcat the much needed uh, extra light when working at night when doing this stuff. Oh my god, it's beautiful. All right. Uh Time to build. First bit down. We go. Now we have a couple options. Uh, I was just planning on using the basic one, of course. Uh, I can never remember. That's the wrong one. What side is forward? I think it's this side is supposed to be forward. rotate the camera. That's really funky. Yeah, that looks right. Alright. Ta-da! House built. We'll do a bit of landscaping here. Um... What are the controls for mouse and keyboard? <laughs> okay, that's a thing. I don't remember how to... Uh, we'll just get the controller out here. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't, I wasn't on landscaping. I'm a moron. Alright, um... Let's change that to that. Do something like that. 
Oh, we gotta we gotta raise all of that as well. Oh damn. Yeah, that was quite a bit of area built up, wasn't it? That was probably more expensive than it should have been. We'll just, uh, you know, smooth out some of this stuff. Build up a little. Uh, I guess I can't yet, but yeah. Now we'll give it. We'll give it a little smoothing. Just a touch. And we'll come back. We'll do textures later and all that. More textures. But we have a bit of a uh, an area to park stuff. All right. Um. Speaking of parking stuff, let's do that. Anyways, make sure to subscribe and follow. Uh, I will be working on this series from now on for Farm Sim. This kind of gameplay has always been my favorite. And if you enjoy seeing this kind of stuff, you know, carving out your own, your own farm, uh, you've definitely come to the right place. Uh, I will also probably be streaming it at some point on my uh, YouTube channel, and uh, on my YouTube, my Twitch channel. Uh, link is in the description. Make sure to go drop a follow for that. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time, and have a good one.